Okay, I'm almost ready to put the intake on. Gasket's in place. I have these alignment tools that help me drop the intake manifold on. So I put one here at the back, and I put one up at the front. And then as I drop the uh, uh, intake manifold down, this will help keep it lined up. And this is a little tricky because as it comes down, a couple of the cam lobes are going to try to open up some valves. There's no neutral position you can install this at, so no matter what, as you come down, it's not going to sit evenly, and by torquing down the bolts that hold this thing in, you're going to pull it down and open up some of the valves. So because of that, it's real easy to knock off the rockers. They just sit there. And so uh, having these alignment pins is good. If you don't have the actual alignment pin, you can just make some out of symmetric bolts, cut off the head, and then slot it so that you can get in a screwdriver and unscrew it afterwards. So that's going to sit there and line it up. I'll drop on the rockers in a second. I have my alignment pin installed in the back. I use a drill bit. Um, the reason I do this is this actual alignment pin. See how it's threaded here? It has a threaded hole in the block down there. All right, you can screw that in. The problem is it's got years and years of grime and junk. And even on this nice clean engine, which is basically as rust free as I get, this this just didn't want to thread in. You know, there's there's grime in there. And then because the end of it is just knurled, it doesn't have a hex head on it, I can't use a wrench at all to help me get it in there. So it's a, it's a real bugger to try to get this in. Whereas this drill bit just slides right in there. Now, I can actually move the crank. If I try to turn this crank by hand, I can jam this drill bit over and it's not really where it needs to be. So get the engine to uh, 90 degrees after top dead center and then slide in this bit. And when this bit slides in nice, you know, it's lined up. And then leave this, don't move it. <laughs> now, uh, talking about 90 degrees after top dead center, again, down here on the crank, I've shown this in my other videos, but there's a tick that shows over on this side, which we can't see right now. Let me pull that out. Well, that's interesting, I can't see that tick mark here. Huh. That's really interesting, I can't see anything there over to the other engine here. Well, can't get over to that too easily. All right, it's gonna be a little dizzying. can't see it well that's a little odd I just can't show you that right now but it's there or at least it should be um, but anyways I'm at 90 degrees after top dead center I'm in a compass rose straight up and down left right can't see that tick mark now but look at my other time belt videos to see it so with that there I know that the cranks in the right position so, <clears throat> over here, you see I've got my intake exhaust pin in, and that's all screwed in tight, and I have my exhaust timing pin in. So, I've timed the crank, I've timed the two cams, these things are exactly where they need to be. Um, they basically should just run in and out by hand when you have them aligned perfectly, but that usually doesn't happen with the belts on it. So, I'm about ready to drop this in. I'll set those uh, rockers in place and then drop on the intake manifold and torque it down. <laughs> 